Have you ever wondered why there is a tradition of an awe-inspiring military parade on Republic Day, but no such parades for Independence Day? To know the answer, tag along with the video. India got independence from Britain on 15th August 1947. Even after it, India was a dominion of Britain with King George VI as a head of state. All the official work of Indian government was still undertaken in the name of British Crown. Our independence was still incomplete. Therefore, to organize such a big event on Independence Day, consisting of military parades amongst the other, wasn't considered suitable for two reasons. First, India was, though nominally, still under the British Crown, and second, to project power of new resurgent India, we needed to have an Indian head of state. For that to happen, our constitution had to be promulgated first. After the completion and adoption of its constitution on 26 January 1950, India proclaimed itself a republic. The first Indian president, His Excellency Dr. Rajendra Prasad, became head of state as well as supreme commander of the Indian Armed Forces. The Indian government was now working under our president's authority, hence we got true independence from Britain. On top of that, we also had our own law of the land, the Indian constitution. To celebrate the occasion and to show the whole world the might of new India, capable of dealing with any kind of threats, the first Republic Day presided over by President Dr. Rajendra Prasad was organized on January 26, 1950. Because of such importance of Republic Day, the big event to celebrate India's military power and cultural diversity evolved into a tradition which is carried out to this day and will be carried out in future. Jai Hind!